So today is the Valentine's Day. Oh. One, two, four, wait, wait, one, two, one, two, four. Wait. Welcome back to another episode of Wonderful Wigs Women. So today I'm sharing the camera with my trusty assistant. I haven't named her as yet, but maybe we could call her Wanda, you know, just to stay with the W's. Today I'm wearing two wonderful units. I'm actually gonna show four wonderful units, but I'm comparing two of them, one by Outre, this lovely pink one here, and one by Bobby Boss, which is not exactly the same style. You know, the style of the hair is completely different. This is more bouncy curls. This one is a little more beach wavy, and obviously it's colored red at the end. This one is just pink. Uh, I wanted to ask again if anyone knows some eyebrow pencils that are good for matching hair because today you can see I'm wearing this very bright pink eyebrow pencil and it's matching this dress but it's not really matching the hair. So let's get into the hair. The first thing I like about this is the very sweet pastel pink color. You know if you want to be feminine, if you want to be girly, there's nothing else besides pink that's really going to do it. If you want to wear red, that's another great color, but it's a little bit more vampy, a little bit more tough. So here's the back of the unit. And I saw this on online and then I looked it up on YouTube and there was one other channel which was featuring it, but I can't remember the name. It's not someone I follow. It's um it's a guy who wears wigs and well i'm sure you can find it if you just search this unit here's the stock card it's utrecht color bomb alicia in rosy blonde 22 inches and she's a lace part unit those are all the wonderful colors she comes in and as i'm combing through her there's not a lot of shedding again this is a lace front wig so there's a parting space and just uh, lace around the edges. It feels good on my head. It feels very wear and go-ish. Um, there's an elastic band inside that's non-adjustable as well as the two adjustable bands and combs at the side and a comb in the back. And it's just, it's a lovely unit. I mean, I don't have anything negative to say about it. There doesn't seem to be much shedding. You know, this is from another unit I was brushing earlier. So the shedding is at a minimal. And in terms of styling, I don't think you need to style this much. Perhaps if you open out the parting space or flatten it down. But other than that, you know, it has baby hairs, which you can use. I haven't really done it because I'm going to show several units right now. But um, I mean, for me, this is the number one unit for Valentine's Day. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is the inside of Alicia, the parting space, non-adjustable band, elastic band and some adjustable bands, combs on the sides. So on the card, it says they're all creamy pastels in this line, and it's a five inch deep lace parting, natural baby hairs, pre-plucked pre HD lace. So, I mean, I give, it a, I give it a nine out of 10, you know, just not a 10 out of 10 because I haven't really worn it yet to know any downsides but I think it's a gorgeous unit. I'm gonna try this one now. So this is what she looks like directly out of the box. I mean, it needs something. I don't know what exactly, but it needs something. I don't think I'm gonna make a parting space or anything like that, but I like the color so far. You can see the baby hairs there. The lace is looking good. Yeah, so let's see how she looks outside on the camera. So I'm back again with another pink unit. And this one is Suri, which I did in the ginger color a little while ago on my collection of ginger units video. If you haven't seen that video and you're interested in ginger red colors, you should look at that for some reference to how Suri looks in that color. I actually like this color better for Suri. I, I wasn't really into this 
unit when I first opened the box and put it on my head, but this is the second time I put it on my head and it really has grown on me. The color is uh, really lovely. I'll show you the back. So it's really quite long and soft and the lace looks good. I haven't put any makeup on it to melt it on my skin, but the lace looks good. And I'll read what this is. So the other one was just a lace part. This is another one of the color bomb Alicia by Outre. And you can see she has the baby hairs here, which I combed back before. This is the next color, which I will show you on the video. But for now, let's just go through Suri one more time. If you haven't seen this unit before, it's 13 by four inch deep lace. You can wear it glueless. It has free, free parting, natural, flawless, free parting, baby hairs and a pre-plucked hairline. So this is the stock card. And I have her in the color TT Rosemary. Um, I'll show you some more colors in the back there. So I really like this, you know, I didn't make a parting space. I show you the video afterwards or before. I'm not sure where I'm putting it as yet when I edit this, but it feels soft and it feels uh, very comfortable on my head. And I like the color. I really, this might be the one for Valentine's Day, you know, the red is great and the pink is great. So I'll show you the inside of this cap on another part of the video. But as you know, the thing is, every time I change it, I like it. So I might keep changing my mind about which one to wear until the very last one. So keep watching till the end. And this one is, I would say, nine and a half out of 10. I really like it in terms of the parting space, in terms of the cut, in terms of the color. It's very, very lovely. This is the inside of Suri 13 by four. No elastic band, but it fits very securely on the head and the combs and the stretchable mesh cap. So I'm back with another Alicia from Outre. This one is to me very platinum, but it has some pink tones throughout it. I'll tell you the color in one second. Let me just comb through her. Again, she has baby hairs. The hair is very soft, by the way. As I'm combing through it, it's very very soft. I'll show you the back. So again, with the baby hairs, oh, it's a little bit tangled here. This is the first time I've taken her out, but she's tangling a little bit. The other one didn't seem to tangle as much. So let's see, the shedding is a bit much on this one too. Um, so yeah, in terms of the baby hairs, you know, again, for these light colored units, I don't like to do aggressive baby hairs. I mean, and I don't think you really need to make them on a lace front like this with just a parting space. You know, the, there's not a lot of lace in the front and you don't really have to hold this unit down because it's pretty secure as it is. So on a light colored unit, on light hair like this, I like to go very, very delicate on the baby hairs and just keep them like wispy, and not stuck down to the scalp because that's how light hair is in general it's more like baby down and not like a yeah not like big heavy baby hairs anyways so let me get into this color sorry i should have got the card out before so alicia in blush blonde i showed you the stock card already for this but this color is blush blonde again she's 22 inches and you know, you could do something about the parting space, maybe just flatten out the unit, uh, maybe fix this a little bit more, but it is only a middle part. So you just have to enjoy the unit as it is in its simplicity, which I really am enjoying. I think this blush blonde is very pretty as well. It reminds me of one of the ash blonde units that uh, Sensational brought out. If you look at the Ash Blonde unit, uh, the Ash Blonde collection video, it's the one that's featured on that video. It's a similar style in terms of the middle part and this thick hair around the sides, which is for me a very fashionable look. It's a very attractive and flattering style. So the next unit I have, which I have done already on this channel, I featured it before is Bobby Boss's Ultra Scalp Illusion Soft Focus Double Lined HD Lace. 
extra wide deep lace free parting sherry so this is the stock card for sherry and this color is tt4 slash baby pink and she comes with baby hairs as well um it doesn't say how much of it says extra wide but it doesn't really say if it's a 13 by 4 or 13 by 6 i mean i think it looks like a 13 by 6 and i'll show you now how it looks again just so you can compare the colors i mean i don't know if you can see here what this color looks like again it looks just like platinum blonde with a few hints of pink and again i'm getting more tangling on this than on the other unit which is kind of annoying but you know if you put one of those detanglers in it it should work one of those synthetic uh, detanglers so this doesn't tangle much i know i've worn it before oops uh, wanda is a good model but i didn't stick it down on wanda and the color on this one is much more pronounced this pink you can see here it's much more it's delicate again but it's much more pronounced than in this outre unit so i'll go put it on for you so you can see and i like this scalp illusion scalp illusion you know some people have a problem with it but i don't so there's the color on sherry and i'll come back you can see the baby hairs on her as well wonder is a good little sidekick anyways i'll be back this is the inside of the scalp illusion with the two combs and the comb in the back a stretchy cap and this double layer of lace to make a scalp illusion so i did a middle part on sherry and then i decided that I should do a side part again just because you had two with the middle part and this can actually make a side part or a middle part because of the lace so it's probably good to show you both so here are the colors again this and this you know the baby hairs on this are really delicate as well and you could probably make them much more pronounced than i have the scalp really for me makes this unit it really melts the lace melts and i've worn this glue less before and felt very comfortable with it um, i love the color and the texture of this hair i used uh, heat on the first unit that i had from this and i didn't like what the heat did to it you know it has this sort of like relaxed texture that when you apply the heat it becomes too smooth and too shiny it's a little bit yakky right now and I like it like that so I wouldn't put heat unless you wanted to really smooth out the hair and I don't want to smooth this one out at, at all but you see now this pink eyeliner this pink um, eyebrow pencil that I have it's a bit too <laughs> it's a bit too aggressive with this unit you know that has these dark roots and then this very soft color this very soft pastel color in it so again if you know anything in terms of i would just wear natural eyebrows with this i guess or something much lighter on the side you see it's a sort of asymmetrical cut to the sherry like this side seems longer than this side and i'll show you the back no it's not as let's say glamorous as those waves but it's much more subtle and perhaps not so vampy on, to use that word again, on the holidays. So it's something to think about. So I would give Sherry a nine out of 10, or I'd give her a nine and a half out of 10 because of that scalp illusion. And this is the other nine and a half out of 10. And what I do like about the outres though, is that they're not wefted. I like that they're full stretchable caps and for me not having wefts is a really big plus to these units but i like this one really and i like this one i like the bobby boss just slightly better than the outres just slightly better but they're equally good i mean depending on what you're wearing and what your mood is you could definitely choose any of these and be really ready to go for valentine's day so have a great valentine's thank you for being wonderful wigs women Please like, share the video if you think it's shareable, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I upload a new episode of Wonderful Wigs Women and keep being.
wonderful wigs women. Have a great Valentine's. One for wigs, one for wigs, wigs, wonderful, wonderful, wigs, wonderful, wigs.